Hello dear students, class 10th chapter on triangles, a very important chapter in geometry and I am sure most of you must have prepared this chapter by now and if you have not done it till now, here is the first video on the important chapter of triangles in which I will be taking up one important theorem, uh, only a single theorem in this chapter because it is a very important theorem and you need to understand it very well. So let's see this theorem. This is the basic proportionality theorem. The statement of this theorem you need to remember and it goes like this. In a triangle, now this is the triangle ABC. If a line is drawn parallel to one side, so this line BE is drawn parallel to one side that is BC of the triangle. Intersecting other two sides in distinct points. So other two sides means AB and AC. So this line DE is intersecting AB at D, D and AC at E. So what happens? So this much is given. So let's write this given. There is a triangle ABC in which we have drawn a line DE which is parallel to the side BC. Now what we need to prove? So we need to understand the remaining statement. Now in the remaining statement we have then, so from here two proof starts, it, it means the line DE divides them, them means AB and AC in the same ratio. So this DE is dividing AB in two parts and a AC also in two parts. So the ratio of the two parts of AB that is AD and DB and the ratio of the two parts of AC that is AE and EC, these two ratios are to be proved equal. So this is the theorem that in a triangle, if it is given that this line BE is parallel to BC and it intersects AB at D and AC at E, then you have to prove that this parallel line divides the other two sides in the same ratio. That is ratio of AD and DB and AE and DC is same. Now all the constructions involve construction, helping lines. So let's draw some helping lines, construction. Now for construction part, we need to join these two, DC and EB. Just remember that whenever you draw helping lines, those lines have to be dotted so as to make out that these are the construction part. And from E, we draw a perpendicular on AB. So this is the perpendicular which is drawn from E on AB and let's call this as AP, EP. So let's write the construction, join DC and BE and draw A, okay I'll not write AB first, I will write EP, draw EP perpendicular to AB. Now this is the construction. Now let's see the proof of this theorem. Now for the proof, first of all, we will consider a ratio of areas of two triangles. See, consider the ratio and which ratio? It is the area of the triangle on the top that is ADE and the triangle at the bottom BDE. So ADE and BDE, very easy to remember, DE is the common side. So we have to take two triangles starting from A, ADE and BDE. So just see what is the ratio of these two areas. We will apply the formula half into base into height. Now for the triangle ADE, this is the perpendicular, so this is the height. And on which side is this height made? This is made on AD. So the formula will be half into base AD into height EP. And if you see the other triangle BDE, this is half into, now here the base was AD, here the base is BD and the height of the triangle on the top EP is inside the triangle whereas as the height of this triangle BDE is outside the triangle but the height is same in both the cases. So EP gets cancelled and half also gets cancelled thereby giving you AD upon BD which is the 
first equation which is required in this proof. So you need to remember this first step that area of triangle ADE and area of triangle BDE should come out to be AD upon BD. Now see when I consider the ratio starting from ADE and BDE, so both the bases were on this side, then I got the ratio of the two sides which are on the, on the left hand side. Similarly, if I would have taken the triangles from right hand side that is AED and CED, then I would have got a ratio which is on the right hand side. So I don't need to uh, prove that, I will just write similarly area of triangle AED and area of triangle CED. These two areas are also the ratio will also be found out like we have found out the ratio in the first step. So that ratio will be AE upon EC. Friends, you don't need to prove it. You can just write it similarly because if you have to prove it, then you have to draw another perpendicular from D on AC. You can do that and in some books it is given like that also. But even if you write similarly, then you will not lose any marks in board exams. So let's see the next step. Now, see the part which we have to prove. AD upon DB equal to AE upon EC. This is to be proved. So one part of this, that is left hand side is here, AD upon BD. And the other part AE upon EC, it is on the right hand side of the second equation. So if we have to prove that these two are equal, that is the RHS of these two equations are equal, then first of all we have to equate the left hand sides. So that is a very crucial step now. We have to try and equate the left hand sides of these two equations. How do we equate the left hand sides? Just see the numerators first. In the numerator here, it is area of ADE. So ADE is this triangle. And what about the numerator here? AED. AED is again the same triangle. So the numerators are already equal. What we need to do is to equate the denominators. And for equating the denominators, you need to recapitulate a theorem which you have done in class 9th. That is the chapter on area of parallelograms and triangles. In that chapter, we have done that whenever there are two triangles, I will shade the triangles for you. BDE, this is one triangle. And CDE, this is the other triangle. Just see that these two triangles are actually drawn on the same base DE. There is a common base. And what about DE and BC? They are parallel. Here we are. It is already given in the question. So, these two triangles BGE and CED are actually lying on the same base and they are drawn between the same parallel lines. So, whenever this happens, then the area of the two triangles become equal. So, that is what we need to write in the next step. So, I am just writing the denominators area of BDE. Now, area of triangle BDE is equal to area of triangle CED and what reason will you give? They lie on same base which is the base DE and between same parallel lines and which are the parallel lines DE and BC. So here is the use of the two parallel lines D, E and B, C. After this, it is just theory. You have to just write two steps and get to the answer. Now we have proved that the denominator of the first equation and the denominator of the second equation are equal. Here we are. We have proved them they are equal and numerator was already equal. So LHS of first equation is equal to LHS of second equation. So we have proved that the two LHS are equal and why did we do that? Because we wanted to prove that the RHS 
of the two equations are also equal. So that implies the RHS of first equation will be equal to the RHS of second equation, thereby giving us the desired result AD upon BD equal to AE upon EC. And this proves our basic proportionality theorem. Students, a very, very important theorem for board exams and you just cannot skip this question if you want to succeed in board, board exams. Take a screenshot of this theorem. This is the exact way of solving this theorem in board exams. If you do this, four marks are yours. No one can reduce even half mark if you solve it like this. So friends, wait for more videos on theorems important for board exams and all these videos are for class 10 students. Do promote it, do share it with all those students, all your friends who are appearing in board exams in March, March this year and I'm sure success is not far away. And if you have not done till now, do subscribe the channel.